like that. Guys, we are back on the shorelines, catching pretty, pretty trout. Yes, sir. Using our rip shad. Oh, look out! Look out! Hold on, Simba. Oh, using our rip shad from MatrixShad.com. We'll go over why we're on shorelines today and what all's been going on in our estuary. Trout. It's close to 12 inches. Go ahead and let this one go. And if you saw in some of our episodes we put out a, about a month or two ago, we were catching some monsters on the shorelines. Today they've been okay. There's a little dinker right here. And I'm throwing this Matrix Rip Shed, which is a fantastic bait for when you're in shoreline areas. Whether it has grass or no grass, it works good on both. And we got a little bit of grass on this bank here. And we're trying to work this bait in about four to five foot of water. So this rip shed gets down about two to four foot. So it's getting right in that perfect zone. And the way I like to work it is rod tip down, twitch, 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 pause. And make sure you pause a lot of times. Your strikes will happen when the lures actually pause. You'll have a big looping you know, area slack in your line when it's paused and it'll, um, them fish will just straighten all that slack out. And I like to put that wind in my back. That way I can get that lure way, way out there. Make long casts. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watch it, Simba. Don't want them hooks, buddy. That's what them hard baits do, man. They just yield bigger fish. Now, Landon's doing pretty well with the popping cork, but the ones I'm catching with this jerk bait, are, that's, that's what happens when you're fishing these hard baits like this rip shed. You really have a shot at some really nice fish like that. This is a trout. He's a good one. Approaching this point here, and we've had a couple bites. Landon just missed a nice one. It's uh, gotta be a redfish. We'll take a red if that's what it is. Oh, and he gets off. Oh my goodness. I'd have just like to have seen it. Now, I'm gonna say 90% that was a red, just the way he was digging and staying on the bottom. But just a second, right, right before that one, Landon's popping that Matrix float with our TKO underneath it. And he hung into a really nice trout, about 20 inches. Got it all the way to the boat. And right before he was about to flip it in, saw that TKO come flying out the mouth. That was back-to-back -back bites there, so maybe getting into a little zone with some life and activity here. But whenever you throw in these hard baits, or whenever you work at shoreline, shall I say, if you got multiple anglers in the boat, it's really a good idea to throw different, not necessarily like different colors, I'm not really worried about that, different techniques at them. So like some days they might be glued to the cork, some days they might be in love with the jerk bait. Some days they might be all about a topwater. And I started off this morning with the topwater, didn't do nothing, and as soon as I switched to the jerk bait, I started getting strikes. So that obviously told me they didn't want to come to the surface. But every day is different. You know, some days that sometimes sometimes what we do out here is we just simply put a matrix on like an eighth or a quarter and just slow roll it since it's shallow you're going to use some lighter jig heads but it's a really really good idea 
to have every angler using a different technique. And then if one angler gets hot where he's catching three or four in a row, you know, five, you know, and he's doing most of the work, then everybody goes to that method of fishing and then you can really fill in a box. All right, so whenever you're shoreline fishing, unless it's just a phenomenal shoreline, typically you're gonna find little pockets or areas that are the little sweet zones. And every day is different where that could be. But if you pay attention, there's usually a reason why. It could be like where a bayou's coming out or maybe that area had more grass or maybe less grass or maybe it's a little bit deeper in that cove or something like that. So we found an area just now where 90% of our bites came from. The rest of the drift was pretty dead. And Landon was doing, he had more takedowns with the cork than I did, than I had hits with the rip shad. So we're gonna make a drift back over that zone, see if we put a few more in the boat. There he is. Right on my first twitch. A nice little mess of them right here. Look at that Simba boy. What you think, man? Whoa. That's what we talking about all day right there. Rip, rip, rip. Pause. They love it when it's paused. That one hit it right at the boat. That's a good one. So right now, what we came to, coming down a hard, straight shoreline. And right here, as you can see, there's a big, like a washout. Over, you know, over the time, hurricanes, big cold fronts, big winds, they'll wash out shorelines. And that can be a very effective place to fish because all of that bait's getting like pushed out with the wind and stuff like that. That's all super shallow, grassy, but a lot of bait will live in there. Gets pushed out with the wind and you catch them on the edge. Catch them on the edge of that, those shallows. So, you know, a lot of times when you see a cove like that, Unless you're redfish and you don't want to go up in the cove, but you may want to really target the area right on the edge of the cove because all that bait gets pushed out there and then fish can stage up like they are right now. That's a good one to end the day on right there. Come on up here. Good one to end the day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Getting off the bridges, fishing some shorelines. We love shoreline fishing. We love the rip shed, which did a lot of damage today. We also like the uh, fishy shorelines with the Matrix Float. Matrix Float was pretty successful today. Landon, our cameraman, used that most of the day with our TKO shrimp underneath. Pop, pop, pause, and the rip shed, twitch, twitch, pause, and it yielded several beautiful trout like this right here. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all our Shoreline episodes. Make sure to subscribe to our monthly bait box. Get your hands on these Matrix floats, TKO shrimp that we use today, the Matrix rip shed. Come out here. If you want to avoid the crowds, get off the bridges, fish you some springtime shorelines in a Pontchartrain Basin.